I am Adil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to find x intercepts of a function. The question is find x intercepts and y intercepts of the following. We are given two different equations. Let us see how to find the x and y intercepts. Let us begin with the y intercept that is simpler. So let us say what is y intercept let us write down a y intercept is when x is equal to 0 that is what y intercept is right a point on the y axis where the graph crosses y or touches y axis is that okay so what we do to find y intercept is substitute 0 for x so we'll write two times within brackets 0 minus 3y equals to 12 now that is 0 right so we have minus 3y equals to 12 or y is equals to 12 divided by minus 3 that is minus 4. So y intercept is minus 4. You could also write this as 0 minus 4 since x is 0 correct. Now let us look into the x intercept part. So for a straight line it is kind of simpler. Let us write down y as equals to 0. So if I write y equals to 0, find x, I will get the x intercept. So this time we get 2 times x minus 3 times we have to substitute y as 0. So let me write 0 for y, right? Equals to 12. That means 2x equals to 12 or we will divide by 2. So we get divide by 2 which is 6. And therefore the x intercept for us will be 6 and y value 0. So that is how you could find x and y intercept when we are considering a straight line, correct? Now let us do the, the other one. Some of you could also graph this line approximately kind of like this. So what we got here is y intercept of minus 4, let us say minus 4, x intercept of 6, so let us say somewhere there. So a line like this where this is minus 4 and that point is 6, it represents the given line 2x minus 3y equals to 12 okay does make sense to you i hope it does now let's look into the next one that is a quadratic or cubic equation power 2 and power 1 how do we find x and y intercept here well the concept is simple and straightforward the same concept which we use for the line y intercept means a point where x is 0 so let's substitute 0 for x right so what do we get? We get y equals to 2 times. So I'll substitute 0 for this x, right? So plus 2 whole square. And instead of x, I'll write 0. And then just calculate, right? So we get 2 times minus 1 uh, times 2 square, which is 4 times 2, 8 with a negative sign. So we get minus 8 as our answer. Is that okay? So we get y intercept as there is one y intercept which is at x equals to 0, y equals to minus 8. Now let us find the x intercept. For x intercept, what should we do? Well, for x intercept, we have to substitute 0 for y, right? So for x intercept, substitute 0 for y. So we get 0 equals to, right? Rest of the thing, which is 2 times x minus 1 times x plus 2 whole square. Now, when can the right side be 0? This could be 0 for x minus 1 equals to 0 or x plus 2 whole square to be 0, right? So, let's solve them. So, the first condition from here is x minus 1 equals to 0, x is equals to 1. And the other one is x plus 2 whole square equals to 0 or x plus 2 equals to 0. Well, square root of 0 is 0, right? Or x equals to minus 2. So, in this particular case, we get 2 x intercepts and so we have x intercepts at 1 0 and the other one is at minus 2 0. So we could get more than one x intercept also in some questions which is kind of like this. right? So some of you can actually sketch this graph also. I am Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.